Yo, so you probably clicked this video thinking, bro, I got the game. I'm still, I still can't figure this out. I still can't figure out how to do combinations, how to do basic combos without feeling like I'm just button mashing. This video is about essentially, um, kind of showing you the basics of the game. I know it's a bit like late. There's probably a few videos that kind of cover this, but I feel like I still want to kind of give my take on it and give certain pro uh, certain tips here and there. Um, I've been obviously I played the game what 60 hours now since release, so you know. I spend most of my time playing, but then editing as well, and then making content. So I, can't, I, I ain't playing as much as I really should be, but I'm playing it enough to know about the game because I'm because I'm creating content on it. So I'm always thinking about you know the game if that makes sense. So cool. So alright, cool. So you've just got you've just got the game. You're thinking, cool. How do I play? How do I how do I do whatever? Cool. So we. So I'm assuming you you at least know that you press. Okay, depending on your controls, I'm on standard controls. Um, you press square, you know, to to attack. You know, triangle for your key blast. You know, and then circle for your um, instant, you know, uh, uh, sonic sway or perce perception. If, if we've come that far, then then that's that's a good sign. But you're, you're saying cool. Besides doing my regular square combo, what else can I do, right? So you don't know, kind of how else to essentially, like you know, mix up. Like you wanna you wanna know other ways that you can attack without feeling like you have to, you know, just button mash like I just did there to show a different combination. If that makes sense, right? So cool. If that's the case, it's just, it's very simple. Um, for those, I don't know if, if I mean a lot. I'm, I'm assuming a few of you has probably played Xenoverse. I think Xenoverse is quite similar in the way that you mix up your buttons. Um, that's how I was able to pick up quite quickly, just because I'm seasoned in it. Let's just put it like that. So it's kind of the same thing. So it's like obviously look. So Gohan's for him. So that's so that's his whole square string, right? Before it knocks him away, knocks Vegeta away. So if I wanted it to knock Vegeta away, I would just literally spam square and you know, it would knock him away, you know, you know, cool, whatever. But now you probably didn't know, I mean, if you're brand new to the game or if you just haven't bothered researching, but there's more you can do with that square combo. So you can mix it up with different, oh, controller's low, don't worry about that. You can mix it up with different buttons or different, or different input types. So for example, with Gohan, I can do square, square, triangle, and he does a little key blast push. I can do square, triangle, and he does, you know, a little dash, like a, you know, quick, quick kicks or rapid kicks. I can do square, square, square for a gut hit, which stuns the player. So one, two, three, four, bang. But to do that, you do four, you do square four times and then triangle for the fifth. So one, two, three, four, triangle. One, two, three, four, triangle. And then again, square 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 or square 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 triangle if that makes sense i can't do that and say it and do it at the same time my brain don't work like that so so that kind of makes it easier to kind of figure out each character and how to use them so we know that with ultimate gohan he's got he's got a square triangle which is the fast kicks square square triangle which is a key blast push and then square 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 triangle which is a gut punch oh that's actually a turnaround kick so my bad. So square, square, square is the turnaround kick, and then square, square, square. Four squares and a, and a triangle is the gut punch. Three squares and a triangle is the is the turnaround kick. Two squares is the key blast, and then one square triangle is the rapid kick. So to demonstrate one more time, square triangle, that's that. Square, square triangle is the key blast push. Square, square, square triangle is the turnaround, and then square, square, square. Oh, square, square, square triangle. Wait, square, 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 square triangle is the is the gut punch. So once you once you figure out those inputs for your characters, you've already basically under, you basically already understand how to how to do combinations with your character. So now it's just about it's just a matter of mixing up those variants. So so that rather you know, right, cool. So imagine you're fighting someone and all you do is square 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 square. It's gonna be very easy for your opponent to super counter. Oh my bad. It's gonna be very easy for them to super counter you and then knock you away and then you know you know punish you essentially so your your job is to mix it up so so you could do something like you know square triangle square 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 turn around square 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 you know what i mean like something like that like you can you can mix it up so you can go square triangle square 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 gut punch like there's just you know you can mix it up where it makes sense where it's going to be harder for them to predict what you're doing if that makes sense so again you can do something like this square 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 boom gut punch like, do you get it? So, and then finish off of a super. Like, 
that's that's like that's like a basic combination people have already figured fi figured out how to extend combos so like you know they can like even i'm in the midst of figuring out myself where you can go like something like this one two three four and then knock them away and then like come closer and then continue the combo like there's people that have figured that out as well so when i fully master it and feel comfortable to teach it um i'll definitely do videos on it as well but literally with a basic combo that's literally all you need to know once you learn that you've basically got the offense part down so now if i was to switch characters to like i've just been experimenting with random characters so let's say i switch to gogeta super saiyan 1 his now his buttons are not gonna be the same as gohan's so his square triangle okay in this case it's still the it's still the rapid kicks but his square square triangle might be different see his square square triangle is now the gut punch or gut kick did you get it so it's like every character has their own variation which you can find in the in the explanation section as well but if you need someone to explain it that's what i'm here to do so if you go to rush chains rush rush chain actions it will tell you what the buttons are for each thing so again you know uh you know heavy finish which is the gut punch square square triangle flying kicks which is you know those kicks square triangle and then a key blast cannon is square 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 triangle and then a rolling hammer is square 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 triangle which i believe is the, is the gut punch oh no Wait, hold on yes it's the turnaround i don't know why it says rolling hammer when it's a kick fair enough but yeah so that's basically it and then once you learn that you can just kind of mix it up and then mix it with your like low kick like your low attacks oh i didn't even explain that so all right cool so obviously when you're attacking with your square chain you can of course you can obviously like knock them upwards you can knock them downwards like like so like that you can do that as well but again with this it comes with, uh, with, with predictability like you'll be very predictable so like if you do this like people can kind of predict that and you know it's very predictable you know it's very predictable so this you just square square and then triangle down to sweep their legs and then square i mean triangle 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 again so literally square square triangle and then triangle triangle to knock them in the air and then you can press circle that brings them down so it's very straightforward so people can kind of predict that so you got to mix everything that i've just basically just explained up to be able to mix up and you know basically you need to pre out predict your your opponent you like when you're fighting you got to kind of always mix up your combos so that your your opponent can't predict what you're going to do and therefore super countering you but then you also know how to move you need to know how to move as well so that you know if they're going to do perception you know wait for you to attack they're going to do sonic sway and they're going to counter you so you need to kind of mix it up as well again this game i feel like a lot of people like the community in this game is mad strong so people are um, constantly kind of figuring new things out sharing them um and that's why i'm sharing this i mean it's not really necessarily new but i just want to kind of like as a content creator and as a you know as someone that's dedicated myself to doing spark zero content um i think it would make sense for me to kind of just show you know a, a showcase of how to how to kind of play basically because a lot of people are new to the game that i've been speaking to a lot of friends of mine so this could be for you lot as well it's not even just necessarily new people that i don't like that haven't found me as a as a content creator this can even be for my people as well that's how you that's how you basically do it so literally square 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 triangle to get the key blast for him uh you know square triangle for the rapid kicks square square triangle for the gut punch square 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 for the turnaround and then you can kind of and you know what and i'm sure you guys know but once their back is facing you hey that's where the damage comes in so if you can so if you can do something like square 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 uh, triangle and then you can just now now they've they've got you've got them where you want them so like you can keep attacking them as long as their their back is facing you bro pause yeah but those back shots you can give yeah it's gonna be serious so you gotta you know turn them around and just you know what i'm saying just and just get to it get to get to get to punishing them and, and taking their health down so that's how you use that in a practical sense obviously you can kind of and then oh and then with sparking this changes so now with gogeta when you mash square this is what happens you can just continue going and they can't super counter from what i've realized from a few bits of testing is that they can't super counter you until it gets to 20 hits because i've been caught in many times where i know for a fact i'm pressing the button but it's only until they hit that 20th hit where it would knock me away usually that's when you can super counter so if someone if you used to catch someone let's say let's say you used to catch someone like in a loop like this until it gets to 20 when it knocks them away they can't actually get out of that until the 20th hit it's very very overpowered so you know for a character like gogeta who's quite quick and quite easy to easy ish to use 
um, I think you know le- applying these these kind of things will kind of make it easier, like literally, because you just gut punch them, turn them around, and you could just do something like that, something basic like that, and you got them. Just so, so yeah, that's that's literally how you kind of do basic combos. Again, if you're not putting time in training, bro, you're not gonna learn it, bro. I'll be honest. Half of the reason why you see these content creators like myself making these videos is because we spend time in the lab, you know? Same way if you play online and you see a player that just seems like he knows his character like in and out. It's because you, it's because they've they've understood that every character has a set amount of uh, strings that once they memorize, they can use that character and utilize them. And the more they fight with that character, the more they're going to build their proficiency with them. Like, and I don't mean the in-game proficiency, proficiency I mean their actual understanding of that character will grow. So like, I don't use this Gogeta much, but just from being in training for the last hour, just trying to understand his moveset, like I'm confident enough to use him to demonstrate because it's like, I really, I know his strings. Hey, you look, until next time, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, the tutorial, you know, to show that su- show support. And I'll, I can do a defense, a defending vi- a video if you don't want to see that as well, um, just let me know and I'll happily do that. But for this one, let's start the series off by showing you guys how to do basic combos uh, on the game. And then if you don't want to see defending, I can do defending as well. So, yeah, you lot, peace. I just hit my mic, never mind.